Hi everyone, this is Sushma, Java trainer. So in last video, we have seen one interview question. In how many ways we can declare? Uh, in how many ways we can print Hello World? So in this video, I want to discuss two more interview programs. So the first program is nothing but Armstrong number. So what is Armstrong number? It is nothing but sum of digit. Raise it to the power of three equals the number itself. So what are the examples for Armstrong number? So 371, 153, 9474, these are nothing but Armstrong numbers. So let us see how we can write down the program. What is the explanation of the program in Java? So see guys. So what is Armstrong number? First of all, we have to know what is Armstrong number. Armstrong number. So it is it is sum of digits. It is sum of digits raised to the power of raised to the power of three equals. 3 equals to the 3 equals the number itself. So this is nothing but Armstrong number. For example, what are Armstrong numbers? So 153 is Armstrong number and 371 and 9474. 9474. So on etc. So whatever the range you are giving based on the range, it can retrieve the Armstrong numbers or you can take a particular number and you need to find out whether your given number is Armstrong number or not. OK, so first of all, let us assume 153. So if you are taking this one, first of all, you need to take it as one cube. What we are going to take it as one cube. So one cube plus you need to take it as here 5 cube and plus you need to take it as 3 cube so now see here guys 1 cube means you are getting 1 so that means 1 into 1 into 1 plus 5 into 5 into 5 plus 3 into 3 into 3 so 1 plus 5 cube means 125 plus 3 cube means 27 when you are adding this cubes 1 cube 5 cube and 3 cube again you are getting a same number so this is nothing but a armstrong number in the same way 9474 so here we are having four digits. How, how many digits we are having? Four digits. So that is the reason 9 power of 4, 4 power of 4, 7 power of 4, and 4 power of 4. So see here, 9 power of 4 plus again 4 power of 4. What we are taking? 4 power of 4 plus and again 7 power of 4. So 7 power of 4 plus. Again, we are taking 4 power of 4. 4 power of uh, 4. So, what is the value for this? So, let us see here, guys. So, equal to 9 into 9 into 9 into 9 into 9 plus 4 into 4 into 4 plus again 7 into 7 into 7. So here you are going to take it as 4 power of 4. Okay. Now we are going to take it as 7 into 7 into 7 into 7 plus again 4 into 4 into 4. Okay. So let us see here uh, 9 power of 4 value is nothing but 6561 plus so 4 power of 4 value is nothing but 256 plus uh, 7 power of 4 
value is nothing but 2401 plus 4 power of 4. Again, 256. So, again, when you are adding all these numbers, so you are getting 9474. In the same way, 371. Again, this is nothing but power cube. See, three digits you are having. 3 power of 3, 7 power of 3, 1 power of 3. So, see here, 3 power of 3 plus 7 power of 3 plus 1 power of 3. 1 power of 3. So, let us see here. 3 into 3 into 3 plus 7 into 7 into 7 plus 1 into 1 into 1. So, 3 cube is nothing but 27 plus 4, 7 cube is nothing but 343 plus and 1 cube is nothing but 1. So, 27 plus 343 plus 1. So, that equals to 371. So, like that you are going to implement a Armstrong number. Now, we can see the program how we can implement Armstrong number in Java. So, let us see here guys. First of all, you need to take the class name ARM. Any class name you can take. So, here you need to write down the main method. So, public static void main of you are going to take here string args. What we are going to take here string args. So, next we are going to see here. First of all, you need to declare the variables. Why? Because you need to take a number like 153. I am taking here number 153. It is of integer data type. Now, temp variable. Why? Because whatever the number you are taking that will be stored temporarily in the temp variable. And you need to find out the reminder and uh, result initially you are taking it as an uh, zero. So whatever the number you are taking initially you are storing into temp variable. So now I want to run the loop. But in loop I want to write down every time the temp variable is not equal to zero. Every time whatever the uh, number you are given. So that should be not equal to zero. Now we have to see here what is the logic. So reminder. See here I have declared a reminder variable. Why? Because whatever the number you are taking that should be. Uh, we need to get a reminder. So reminder modulo. So temp modulo. Reminder is equal to temp modulo 10. So this is the logic. And uh, next uh, result uh, plus equal to. Result plus equal to. Reminder into. Reminder into reminder. So next uh, temp is equal to temp divided by 10. So this is the logic to implement your Armstrong number. Once the logic is completed, you need to write down the if condition. Whether the result is equal to the given number or not. So now you need to write down your condition like that. Result equal to equal to equal to equal to given number. Then the number is Armstrong number. Otherwise, it is not an Armstrong number. If else, I am using. So, system dot out dot print ln of. So, whatever the number you are taking is an Armstrong number. Is an Armstrong number. So, otherwise, it will go to else part. It will go to else part. And it is going to print number is not an Armstrong number. Number is not an Armstrong number. So system dot out dot print ln of number is not an Armstrong number. So this is the logic to implement whether a given number is Armstrong number or not. So you need to close the main method. You need to close the class. So this is the logic to implement. You need to save the file. First of all, you need to save the file. So we have created one folder like Java 1 in G drive. So here you are going to save the file name with ARM. So what is the class name you have given? With the same class name, you need to save the file. 
so arm dot java so now we will check so go to here and uh, highlight the location type here cmd here you need to see java c space arm dot java it was compiling it was checking whether the errors are there or not in the program if everything is correct then we have to run the program so temp variable is given wrong so temp so if any variable is getting if you are writing wrong just save the program and uh, again you can compile it and you can run it again it was checking for er errors so there are no errors in the program so now you can run the program for the output so 153 is an armstrong number now you have a doubt ma'am how this logic is executed can you give me some explanation yes let us take a paint guys i want to explain the program here itself so in paint so first of all i am keeping my program yeah so let us see the explanation for this how the logic is executing how the iteration will iteration will be there so explanation so first of all we need to perform the iteration one why because we are having three numbers so the iteration will be done for three times so first of all whatever the number you are taking number is temp is equal to num is equal to 153 why because you see here whatever the number you are taking that you should keep in the temp variable so that is the reason i am taking number into the temp variable so next uh, initially result equal to zero and uh, you need to check uh, three 153 is not equal to zero condition is uh, satisfied and uh, now it will entering into the room entering into the logic if this condition is satisfied then it will entering into the logic so what is the logic we are having so let us see first of all here uh, we are having reminder is equal to reminder is equal to 153 modulo 10 so modulo 10 means you are getting a reminder like 3 so result is equal to result plus so what is the result you are having initially result plus 3 into 3 into 3 so that equals to 27 now we are having temp is equal to temp is equal to 153 divided by 10 so you are getting 15 value so this is the first iteration so next iteration 2 iteration 2 in iteration 2 what will be happen now in uh, temp what is the value we are having 15 okay this 15 is not equal to 0 in while condition what we have written in while loop what we have written we have written a condition like temp is not equal to 0 for every iteration you need to check whether the given number is not equal to 0 or not so now result previously what is the result we got 27 so result equal to 27 now again reminder is equal to 15 modulo 10 so the remainder is 5 okay result is equal to so now previously we got 27 so 27 plus 5 into 5 into 5 so 27 plus 5 into 5 is nothing but 152 okay so now temp is equal to 15 divided by 10 so you are getting a divided value called 1 so iteration 2 is also completed now iteration 3 what we are having iteration 3 so here temp is equal to 1 so 1 is not equal to 0 condition is satisfied and uh, result is equal to we got 152 previously what is the result we got 152 now temp is equal to so 1 modulo 
taken see we have taken uh, 153 is an integer value so it cannot take a decimal value so that is the reason it is going to return one value only so next result is equal to previously what is the result we got 152 so 152 plus 1 into 1 into 1 1 into 1 into 1 so 152 plus 1 153 now i have a one condition if result equal to equal to num if this condition is satisfied then it is a armstrong number see result what is the result we got 152 so that is the reason here sorry 153 what is the result we got here 153 equal to equal to what is the number we have given in the program 153 so both numbers are equal so 153 is an armstrong number so 153 is an armstrong number so like that we can give the explanation for this program so if you go for any interview if the interviewer ask you uh, can you explain about am uh, given number is armstrong or not so this is the explanation for the given program okay you need to explain for the interview like this so this is nothing but am strong or not what we are calling it as an am strong or not very very important program so explanation So this is the explanation for the given number is Armstrong or not. Like this, you need to check it out. And next program is nothing but program 2. This is also another important program for your interview. So count number of digits. Count number of digits in an integer. In an integer. For example, see here. For example, I was taking here three four five six seven how many numbers are there how many digits are there in the given number one two three four five so here you are getting five digits so how many times the iteration is going to take place the iteration is going to take place for five times so let us see what is the logic to implement it let us take a new file so class so digits any class name you can take it as you need to write down main method public static void main of you need to take here string args this is our main method and next what is the logic to implement it initially every time you need to increment the value so that is the reason i initially i am taking count to value zero and number so what is the number i have given here three four five six seven so i am taking here three four five six seven so next we need to write down the while condition so every time whatever the number you are taking that should be always not equal to zero now num this is a compound operator divided equal to is nothing but a compound operator so num divided equal to 10 so so num is equal to num divided by 10 so you can write down like this so now plus plus count plus plus count every time you need to increment the count value so that is the reason i am writing plus plus count so after uh, after you are getting the result you need to print system dot out dot print ln so how many number of digits you are having number of digits in a given number plus finally what is the count value you are getting you are printing that count value so closing braces and closing braces so let us save the file digits dot java so let us execute here java c space digits dot java so let us it was checking for the errors whether the there are 
there are no errors in the program so now when you are executing see number of digits in a given number is 5 so now we can see the explanation for this program how we can implement the logic for this Now we can see the explanation for this. How many iterations it is going to take. So first of all, I'm going to take here iteration one. First of all, whatever the number. Number is equal to three, four, five, six, seven. And uh, three, four, five, six, seven is not equal to zero. The condition is satisfied. So now initially you are taking count value zero. Okay. Now num is equal to See, number is not equal to 0. Condition is satisfied. So that is the reason I am executing this logic. So number is equal to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So divided by 10. So what is the value you will get? 3, 4, 5, 6. So what is the count value initially? 0. Count is equal to count plus 1. So count plus 1 is nothing but 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. So this is nothing but iteration 1. Now I am going to take here iteration 2. What I am going to take here? Iteration 2. Now, num is equal to. What is the num value we are having? 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 3, 4, 5, 6 is not equal to 0. Condition is satisfied. Why? Because what it, whatever the updated number you are having. So, this updated number you are passing into the while loop. And you need to check the condition. Whether the number is not equal to 0. And the updated count value is 1. So now number is equal to 3, 4, 5, 6 divided by 10. So divided by 10 means you are getting 3, 4, 5. So now again the count value will be incremented. Count is equal to now 1 plus 1. So now count value is 2. Iteration 2 is completed. Now we are taking iteration 3. Iteration 3. So num is equal to what is the previous num value we got? 345. So 345. 345 again it was sending into the loop and it was satis it was checking the condition whether the number is not equal to 0 or not. Yes, condition is satisfied. What is the previous count value we got? 2. So count equal to 2. Now count equal to 2 plus 1. So that equals to 3. Now you can perform iteration 4. What we are going to perform here? Iteration 4. Now what is the previous num value we got? See here, here we need to do again num is equal to 345 divided by 10. So 340 divided by 10, 34. So what is the updated number value you are having? 34. So here 34 is not equal to 0. Condition is satisfied. Okay. So now what is the count value we got? 3. So count value you are taking it as an 3. So again number is equal to 34 divided by 10. So you are getting 3. So now count value is again increased. Count is equal to. We are taking 3 plus 1. So that equals to 4. So now we can perform iteration 5. Now you are going to perform here. Iteration 5. In iteration 5. What is the num value? Updated num value we are having 3 here. So you are taking 3. 3 is not equal to 0. Condition is satisfied. And count value is updated. So what is the count value we have updated? The count value is previously 4. Uh, previously 3. So 3 plus 1, 4. So now I am taking here count value 4. So now again num is equal to 3 divided by 10. See whatever the number you are taking it is a integer type of data so that is the reason it can return three value okay so now count is equal to four plus one so that equals to five so how many number of digits in a given number five digits how many digits we are having five digits so like this you can count how many number of digits in a given number it is a four digit number, it is a five digit number or six digit number, anything it may be. 
it can count how many number of digits in a given number so this is the explanation for this program So thank you everyone. In next video, we can see some more programs, some more interview programs.